America once built a ghost. The YF-23 Black Widow, faster than the F-22, stealthier than anything on radar, then buried by politics. Three decades later, Japan dug that ghost up. The new sixth-generation fighter from the Global Combat Air Program, co-built with Britain and Italy, carries that DNA. Sharper, faster, meaner. A jet built to punch past Mach 2, control AI wingmen, and launch strikes that hit before the enemy knows they're coming. Price tag? Nearly $300 million each. Tokyo doesn't blink. China's rolling out tailless J-36 and J-50 prototypes with hypersonics. Japan's answer. Build a fighter that rewrites the rule book. The YF-23, reborn under the rising sun. Rejected, then resurrected. When the U.S. shelved the YF-23, Washington picked the safer F-22 and parked north of faster, stealthier design in museums and hangars, a monument to what the Pentagon feared most, risk. Tokyo saw something different, potential, the kind you seize when there's no second chance. Later, when Japan tried to buy the F-22, Congress slammed the door. Too classified, they said, code for you can fund the alliance, but you can't fly its crown jewels. So Japan did what the U.S. once did best, build its own miracle. The F-3 Shinshin prototype evolved into GCAP, the Global Combat Air Program, a $40 billion trilateral partnership led by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, BE Systems, and Leonardo. The roadmap is brutal and concrete. Prototype rollout in 2028, first flight in 2030, combat squadrons by 2035. This isn't rhetoric, it's law and cash. Japan's already committed 5 trillion yen, dollar 33 billion, to next-gen air power through the 2030s. Unit cost? 300 million dollars, roughly on par with America's upcoming F-47 NGAD, but with fewer speeches and more hardware. Design-wise, GCAP looks like the YF-23's grandson. Wide diamond plan form, long blended fuselage, buried intakes to shave radar signature. The YF-23 once hit Mach 2.2 and could supercruise without afterburners. Japan pushed those lessons forward. Twin IHIX F9-1 afterburning turbofans deliver 15 tons of thrust each, nearly matching F-22 power while burning 30% less fuel and minimizing infrared heat. Inside it gets bolder. An open architecture cockpit lets Tokyo upgrade avionics without Pentagon sign-off. A 360 degrees ASA digital dome fuses radar, IR, and EW into a single shared picture. Onboard AI can command up to four autonomous loyal wingmen, drones, scouts, jammers, or strike assets depending on the loadout. The YF-23 was a stealth fighter that died too soon. GCAP is a reborn version, leaner, smarter, and built by a nation that refuses to be a spectator. Under the skin, GCAP is optimized to stay airborne longer, hit harder, and think faster than anything across the Pacific. Its twin IHIXF-9-1 engines each produce 15 tons of thrust while weighing less than the F-22's F-119S. In test, the XF-9 hit Mach 2.25 for over 6 minutes and sustained Mach 1.5 supercruise without afterburners. Each engine also supplies 180 kW of excess electrical power, enough for advanced sensors, laser pods, or a drone control network. Thermal management. The stealth aircraft's toughest puzzle was solved by channeling waste heat into the exhaust plume, shrinking the IR signature instead of dumping heat to the fuselage. Fuel efficiency improved 30%, pushing combat radius beyond 1,200 nanometers, roughly double Japan's F-15J. With conformal tanks or refueling drones that can sortie from Japan, fight near Taiwan, and return without external support. Short version. The YF-23 shadow taught Japan how to build a fighter that won't be grounded by politics. GCAP is a nostalgia. It's a forward-leaning, heavily funded response to a fast-changing Pacific. Sharp airframe. Brutal engines. Open systems. AI wingmen. And a clear message. Japan won't be a bystander anymore. Avionics follow the same logic. Adaptable, not locked. An open mission architecture lets Japan upgrade software or hardware quickly using domestic industry. No foreign sign-off required. A 
A fiber optic backbone feeds a new J-APG-3 multiband radar dome, fusing ASA radar, IR surge, and EW sensors into a unified 360 degrees picture. Each GCAP jet will coordinate up to four autonomous support UAVs, CSUAS, for recon, jamming, or strikes depending on loadout. Mitsubishi's prototypes already cruise near Mach 0.9 with radar absorbent skin and modular weapon bays. Together, one pilot plus four drones act as a coordinated strike group, not just a single plane. Weapon development moves with the airframe. The JNAM, co-developed with the UK, merges a meteor-style ramjet with a Japanese ESA seeker for 200 plus km range. The short-range AAM, 5C uses an imaging IR seeker and helmet queuing for extreme off-board launches. A stealthy type, 12 derivative is being reworked for internal carriage in 600 km reach. Labs are also testing compact electromagnetic launchers that can accelerate projectiles or tiny drones to Mach 5 without propellant. Patents from Japan's Defense Innovation Unit, 2023, describe pulse-power mass drivers for fighter platforms, a rail assist idea that taps XF-9 surplus power. That same power could drive a 50 kilowatts defensive laser, inspired by Britain's Dragonfire, to blind incoming missile short range. Ground and naval trials are underway. An airborne demonstrator is expected after 2030. Radar R&D adds another edge. Mitsubishi Electric's 2024 patents cover a microwave interference array that detects stealth craft by spotting disruptions in ambient radio waves. In tests, it tracked low observable drones beyond 200 kilometers. The cockpit is fully rethought. An augmented reality HUD projects radar, IR, and drone feeds on a visor, so pilots never look down. Thousands of distributed skin sensors feed this network, turning each jet into a mobile early warning node for the whole defense grid. Combine these systems, engines with railgun level power margins, modular avionics, cooperative drones, hypersonic weapons, and next-gen sensors, and you get not a prototype, but a scalable combat system. GCAP is moving toward that target, a platform that operates across air, space, and electronic domains under domestic control. The race nobody planned. The sixth-gen scramble over the Pacific started with ambition, not diplomacy. Three nations... Three philosophies, one increasingly crowded sky. The U.S. still treats the game like a rule book, it wrote. The F-47, next generation air dominance, aims for total air dominance. Mach, two plus supercruise, one zero 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 nm radius, and full command of autonomous combat drones. It's a $300 million airframe backed by $25 billion plus an R&D, but timeline slip. Combat units may not arrive until after 2032, and program costs could hit $500 billion by 2040. Politics often trumps tech. Competing USAF and Navy programs F-47 versus F-22 cannibalize budgets while F-35 production gets trimmed. China is sprinting. J-36 and J-50 prototypes already fly over Chengdu and Shenyang ranges. The J-36 targets high-speed superiority. Mach 2 on the WS-15 engine. The J-50, Twin Canard Delta, prioritizes range and payload. Both face issues, fragile stealth coatings, hot engines, immature radar fusion. But China's tempo is the real threat. Chandu aircraft churns out roughly 70 stealth airframes a year. J-20S Plus Next Gen, fueled by a $230B defense budget. Unit cost? About $150 million dollars less than half an F-47. The strategy, quantity to overwhelm sensors and attrite logistics. It's effective until supply lines and maintenance catch up. Japan, meanwhile, is rewriting the rule book. Its global combat air program, GCAP, blends precision, partnership, and patience. Backed by 5 trillion yen, $33 billion, through the mid-2030s, it's the only 6th gen project with real funding working hardware and fixed delivery dates. Mitsubishi Heavy Industries leads a charge with BA Systems and Leonardo, combining British electronics, Italian avionics, and Japanese engineering discipline into one lethal package. Tokyo's design philosophy? Build for sustainability first, speed second. The GCAP packs twin XF9-1 engines pushing 15 tons of thrust each, 
nearly F-22 power, but with higher fuel efficiency and 180 kilowatts of surplus electrical output. That extra juice feeds directed energy pods, adaptive radar, and drone uplinks, letting Japan's loyal wingman fleet act as missile carriers or decoys. Every system connects a Hyper Defense Network 2030, a command grid linking destroyers, subs, and satellites through encrypted AI channels. It's less a fighter jet, more the central processor of Japan's entire defense web. Every node it touches gets deadlier. Money shows priorities. The U.S. funds speed and scale. China funds quantity and propaganda. Japan funds permanence, a self-sustaining ecosystem where engines, sensors, and missiles are built and upgraded domestically. Tokyo's 2025 defense budget hit 7.9 trillion yen, $52 billion, up 60% since 2020, most of it powering homegrown production, hypersonic missiles, next-gen radar, and EW suites all tied to one AI brain. The F-47 might rule on paper, but its cost limits deployment. The J-36 and J-50 may flood the skies, but lack endurance and data fusion. GCAP stand between them. Smaller, smarter, and far more adaptable. While the U.S. builds superweapons and China builds swarms, Japan builds infrastructure, air power that never runs out of upgrades. GCAP isn't hype. It's proof that when Tokyo goes full anime mode, even the Pentagon pays attention. Somewhere, the YF-23 is smiling under a tarp, finally reborn with a Japanese passport.